Let's read the question. Solve the equation x power 4 minus 10x cube plus 26x square minus 10x plus 1 equal to 0. In this particular equation, the highest power is 4. So as they are asking us to solve this particular equation, when we solve this particular equation, we will be getting 4 roots. Because the highest power of this particular equation is 4. So when we solve this equation, then we will be getting 4x values, that is 4 roots. Alright, so let's try to solve this. So first I will write the given part. So I can write here, given equation is... I'll write the given equation first, that is x power 4 minus 10x cube plus 26x square minus 10x plus 1 equal to 0 is the given equation. So this particular given equation I'll divide with x square on both sides. So I can write here, dividing given equation with x square on both sides. Alright, so let's see what do we get. So I can write this as x power 4 minus 10x cube plus 26x square minus 10x plus 1 whole divided with what? x square equal to 0 by x square. So 0 by x square is anything it was 0 only. So I'll just write this separately for each element x power 4 by x square minus 10x cube by x square plus 26x square by x square minus 10x by x square plus 1 by x square. This is 0 by x square is nothing but it was 0. So here x square and x power 4 was cancelled so we were remained with x square. Alright. Here x square and x cube was cancelled so only x is remained. So I can write here 10x. Alright, the remaining part. So here x square, x square, both of them get cancelled. So plus 26 is remained. Here 1 square get cancelled and x get cancelled. So this is 10 by x is remained. So plus this is 1 by x square is as it is. So now what we do is that we will write the similar power terms together. So I can write here this x square plus 1 by x square I am writing together. That is this term and this term together. The same scenario, the x terms I will write it together. So I can write here minus 10x minus 10 by x together the remaining is only 26 so i'll write that at last all right so in this both of them x square is common so i'll just write this together so x square plus 1 by x square together so here i can take minus 10 common so we are remain with x plus 1 by x plus 26 equal to 0 so in this particular equation in order to solve, in order to make it simple, we will be just taking x plus 1 by x as a. Then we will see what do we get. So I will just do that separately here. So what I am doing is that x plus 1 by x equal to a we are taking. So this particular one I will just square on both sides. I will tell you why I am squaring later. So I can write squaring on both sides. So I can write this as x plus 1 by x whole square equal to a square all right so this is exactly looking like a plus b whole square right so what is a plus b whole square a plus b whole square is nothing but a square plus b square plus 2ab all right so this we are applying here so i can write this as x square plus 1 by whole x square plus 2 into x into 1 by x equal to a square Alright, so this I can further write x square plus this I'll just take square inside. So 1 square is nothing but 1. So here this is x square. So plus, see here this x and this x get cancelled, right? Numerator and denominator. So we are just remain with 2. So that is, if I send this 2 to other side, I'll be remain with x square plus 1 by x square equal to a square minus 2. So one thing we have to understand when x plus 1 by x, when we took it as a, we're just letting it, we're just taking it, considering. Alright, so I can write let here. So there is let x plus 1 by x equal to a we are taking. Then when we did squaring on both sides, so we got the value for x square plus 1 by x square. So x square plus 1 by x square is nothing but how much? a square minus 2, whereas x plus 1 by x value is only a. Alright, so in the place over here, in the place of x square plus 1 by x square, we'll just submit this value. In the place of x plus 1 by x, we'll just submit a. Alright, so let's try to do this forward and we'll try to solve it. So x square plus 1 by x square is nothing but a square minus 2 as we just took minus 10 into x plus 1 by x is a as we just took. Okay, x plus 1 by x is a. 
x square plus 1 by x square is x square minus 2. That is what we are submitting here in the equation. So let's try to solve this for what a square minus 2. So this is minus 10a plus 26 is the equation. If I write in sequence a square minus 10a and this is minus 2 and this is plus 26. So that we can write it as plus 24 equal to 0. So now this is exactly looking like a quadratic equation. So let's try to solve this quadratic equation. So the quotient of the highest power here, that is a square is only one. The quotient of a square is one and the last constant is 24. So I can write one into 24, which gives us 24. So we just have to see the multiples of 24. All right. So we have the multiple that is four, six, 24. Even when we add this 4 and 6, we'll be getting 10, which is exactly satisfying the middle term in this particular equation. So let's take as the same. Now I can write this as a square and this one I will just write it as minus 4a minus 6a plus 24 equal to 0. So minus 4a minus 6a is nothing but minus 10a. So now in this both of them, I'll just take a common. So a is coming out. So in a square a went out. So a one a is remained. So a minus four is remained. Here I'll just take minus six common. So I'm just remained with a minus four. So in this both of them a minus four is common. So this is a minus four into a minus six is remained. So when we take them separately, so I'll be getting a minus four equal to zero, which gives a equal to four. And this is a minus six equal to zero, which gives a is equal to six. So therefore a values we got one as four and other a value we got six. But actually what is a? Initially we have taken, see here, a is nothing but x plus one by x. So in the place of a, let's submit those particular values. So I can write in the place of a, x plus one by x is equal to four. All right. So here also I'll just submit in the place of a, x plus 1 by x equal to 6. So in the place of a, I just submitted x plus 1 by x. So let's try to solve this forward. So when we do LCM, this is x into x is x square plus 1 whole by x equal to 4. Setting this x to this side, I'll be remained with x square plus 1 equal to 4x. So let me bring everything to one side and we'll see what do we get. So x square minus 4x plus 1 equal to 0 is remained. And this also, let's do LCM. This is x into x is which is x square plus 1 whole by x equal to 6. Sending this x this side, we'll be getting x square plus 1 equal to 6x. So bringing this one this side, we'll be getting this as x square minus 6x plus 1 equal to 0. All right. So we are getting the two equations. This is one of the equations. This is another equation. All right. So now when we solve this both of the equations, then we'll be getting roots where they are the values which we need to find out. All right. So we'll just find out the roots for this particular first equation. Then we'll go for this. All right. So I'll just write both of them here separately and I'll do it. So I'll, I'm just taking the first one that is x square minus 4x plus 1 equal to 0. I'm just taking first and we'll try to find out the value. So when I compare this equation with the general equation of quadratic, that is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. All right. So we have two methods to find out the roots. So the first method we have already used here. So here we use right the multiple that is we have taken the quotient of the first term and we have taken the constant of the last term and we multiplied and we have taken the multiple of that particular value which is satisfying the middle term and we found the roots. But now we were using the different method which is we are using the formula and we are finding out. All right. So when we compare this equation, the general equation of quadratic, so we are getting a equal to 1, b is minus 4 and c is equal to 1. So let's submit in the formula that is x equal to minus b plus r minus under root b square minus 4ac by 2a is the formula. So let's submit this abc values in this particular formula that is minus of minus 4 is a b value plus r minus minus 4 whole square minus 4 into a is 1 c is also 1 whole by 2 into a is 1. So let's try to solve this forward that is x equal to minus into minus plus 4 plus r minus, oh, we did not root root for this above one. So let's try to root also. So this is minus four whole square in the sense how much? That is plus 16. So simply you could understand minus four into minus four, which is minus into minus is plus. So this is plus 16, All right? So this is what we were writing here. So this is minus four into one into one is nothing but it was this minus four. 
whole by 2 into 1 is 2. So this is x equal to 4 plus r minus under root 16 minus 4 is nothing but it was 12 whole by 2. So this 12 we can write in the form of 4 into 3. So I can write this as x equal to 4 plus r minus under root of 4, 3 is 12 and the denominator is 2. So root 4 we can write it as 2 right when we bring out of the root. That is root 4 is nothing but how much? 2 whole square root. So square and root get cancelled. We are just remain with 2. So in that way I am just bringing out root 4 as 2. So I can write this as x equal to 4 plus r minus 2 root 3 whole by 2. So in this all I will just take 2 common. So I can write this as x equal to 2 common. So this is 2 plus r minus root 3 whole by 2. So 2 to get cancelled. x value we are getting 2 plus r minus root 3. Alright. So this is 2 of the values we got which is x equal to 1 is 2 plus root 3. Another one we are getting x equal to 2 minus root 3. These are the two values which is obtained. Uh, when we solved one of the equations, this particular equation we have solved, even we need to solve this other equation, then we'll be getting two more equations. All right? So let's try to do that here. I'm just solving this and I'll write over here the other equation that is x square minus 6x plus 1 equal to 0. Comparing the general equation of quadratic ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. So I'm getting a equal to 1, b equal to minus 6, c equal to 1. So let's take the formula x equal to minus b plus r minus under root b square minus 4ac whole by 2a. So let's submit the values. So the b is minus of minus 6 plus r minus under root of minus 6 whole square minus 4 into 1 into 1 whole by 2 into 1. So this is x equal to 6 plus r minus 6 square is 36 minus 4 by 2. So this is x equal to 6 plus r minus 36 minus 4 is 32 whole by 2. All right. So now in this particular value we got root 32. Uh, this root 32 we can write in the form of 4 multiple. Okay. That is x equal to 6 plus r minus 4 into 8. 4 8 is a 32. Okay, so this 4 will come out as I have already shown in the previous one in this particular one. So I can write this as 2 root 8 whole by 2. So now in this one, if I just take 2 common, so I'll be remain with this as 2 common plus r uh, 2 3 is a 6. So plus r minus root 8 is remained uh, whole by 2. So this 2 and 2 get cancelled. All right. So we are remained with x equal to 3 plus r minus this root 8 again we can write in the form of 4 2s. Alright. Again the 4 comes out which has 3. So I can write x equal to 3 plus r minus 2 root 2 is a value. So finally we got another equations also. So these equations were x equal to 3 plus 2 root 2 one of the value. Other is x equal to 3 minus 2 root 2. So finally, uh, we got four values. One, one of the x value is this, another x value, and this is one more value, and this is another value. We got four values. The reason that we got four values is that the given equation is having the power as four, as the highest power. So we'll be getting four roots. So we'll write the conclusion. Therefore, two plus root three, 2 minus root 3, 3 plus 2 root 2, 3 minus 2 root 2. So these are the roots which are obtained. So I can write are the roots of given equation. Alright. So these are the roots of the given equation. So this is all about this particular question.